In this section, we're going to look at exporting from Apple Final Cut Pro, the legacy version 7.0.3. Now, of any broadcast deliverables, you always need to make sure that your video levels are correct. Now, I've purposely pumped up the Luma and crushed the blacks to show you this. There's a handy little feature in Final Cut Pro 7 that when you actually come up to your video, arrange, and look at your color correction, it'll bring up your waveform. If it hasn't brought the waveform up and it's brought up all of them, you can come through here and just select waveform. Up through here, you can have a slider which will then, you have a slider that will make the background a lot more darker and also the waveform a lot more darker as well so you can actually see the levels. A handy little feature, if you're not going to actually color correct this, is go into your effects, video filters, color correction and broadcast and this will bring it down within spec. I don't agree with this completely, you should color grade everything in broadcast, not just put a filter on it. Because what can happen if you don't render it out correctly, it could spill through. Once you're ready to export, there are two ways of doing it out of Final Cut. You can come up through here, and you can go export, QuickTime Movie, and we're going to go over this when we're doing multiple audio. If you select QuickTime Movie, it will spit out whatever the codec is in your timeline. You can also hit your settings and do different versions of it as well. I always recommend to everyone you leave your current settings, which is more than likely going to be ProRes, and then that will spit out your ProRes video and your audio specifically to that. In the next section, we're going to look at doing multiple audio out of Final Cut Pro. In specific, a 7.1 deliverable for your digital distributor for high definition content. <laughs>